This is the Harley Davidson Road King Special. It's one of the touring bikes from Harley Davidson and I've been riding this bike around all day and I'm gonna give you my impression of what this bike is like. Noticed I'm here in Wales and this is the old man's new house. It looks incredible. Uh, I've never seen an area like it. It's genuinely like being in France. It's incredible. Um, and behind me there is a little bit of an annex part of the house. So it might be a good idea for him to turn that into a holiday let. Who knows? Or maybe that's a stupid idea. Who'd want to come and stay around here? Horrible. Harley Davidson themselves say that this bike is a hot rod with sinister styling and it very much is and that's why it's so popular with uh, people who are in motorcycle clubs. Um, it's a sort of uh, stripped down bare essential touring bike. You've got the uh, panniers or the saddlebags at the back um, and they're quite big and we're very good. Uh, we'll go into that in a minute. Um, but other than that, you've got no screens and what have you. So it's very much the sort of bike that uh, people get if they want to feel the wind and um, be at one with the elements. King Special starts at £21,995 in the UK and if you want this beautiful deadwood green colour that we've got the bike in here, honestly this is probably the most stunning colour I've seen a Harley Davidson in in quite a few years. Um, it's an extra £350, uh, it's certainly worth it, especially with the black and the little bit of chrome, it splits it up really nicely. Uh, this is really a stunning motorcycle. Now, of course, the Road King Special is supremely good on the motorway or the freeway. You can go for miles and miles with no issues whatsoever. They burble along at 70 miles per hour at two and a half thousand RPM or so. So that's fantastic. There's so much torque and grunt. You just uh, go along easily and you can overtake without changing down as all the Harleys are. Um, the seat's very comfortable. I've been riding it all day. No issues at all with the seat. When you get to your destination, it's a nice bike to ride around the narrow lanes and what have you. It's got a firm ride, you've got low profile tyres, so the ride is very firm. If your purpose for buying a Harley Davidson uh, was for touring and that includes long distance rides, then definitely go for one of these. If long distance rides aren't particularly necessary, I would say you'd be better off going for one of the soft tail models like the Heritage Classic if you want the bags or one of the other soft tails. The seat height on this motorcycle is 695 millimetres. I am six foot one and this bike feels plenty roomy enough. Um, if anything, it feels maybe less roomy than my soft tail standard, um, which is something I wasn't expecting to think. Um, this has technically got forward controls. They're not as forward as some of the uh, soft tail forward controls, the little bit sort of in between mids and forwards, um, but they don't feel that much further forward than my uh, soft tail standard, which has mid controls. Um, but this is absolutely perfectly fine um, for someone over six foot and if you're under six foot you'll have no trouble here either and you could also move the bars slightly further forwards if you wanted to uh, have a little bit more arm room or uh, keep them where they are if you're a little bit shorter. on the 
touring bikes is 26 degrees and the trail is 175 mil and the wheelbase is 1625 millimeters which is a tad shorter than the soft tails but because of the steeper rake you gain that little extra space at the top uh, so it's quite a roomy bike so if you're tall like me I'm six foot two as you can see I've got plenty of space so it's a, a nice riding position um, the steepness of the rake gives you that slow speed maneuverability so it's got a good turning circle and you can get around things quite easily and the longer rake gives you stability at speed uh, it's a very heavy bike we'll give you the weights in a minute so if you are maneuvering and shunting it about it is a handful so once it tips to a certain point it is a hard bike to control at low speeds so if you're particularly short uh, I'm not very muscular, maybe you want something a bit lighter because it is a handful and I've been to the gym a couple of times and I still find it quite heavy. The Road King Special weighs 366 kilograms, um, which is certainly not light by any means. It is a heavy bike and if you're on flat ground maneuvering it about, it feels okay. And if you're getting on the bike, tipping it over, it doesn't feel that heavy. And when you're riding it, of course, it feels fine. But if you're on a slight slope like this and you want to move it back a bit, I'll demonstrate. Oh. Now, this is the hard bit. It's a full body workout to even get it back six inches it's really really not easy uh, and this bike could really do with a reverse gear like the likes of the bmw r18 with a big heavy cruiser like this or touring motorcycle it really does need a reverse gear and that's something harley know how to do as it's in the trike models so i think it would be good to implement it into the touring and soft tail models and I was dripping with sweat after a minute of trying to shunt backwards and forwards on a bit of a slope. So yeah, a reverse gear would be a game changer, Harley Davidson. So hopefully that's uh, on the cards. You have the V-Twin 114 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 engine on this, which is 1868 cc. And that sounds enormous. Um, and it is enormous but that's what gives you all that lovely torque. And the torque uh, produced on this is 158 Newton meters at 3,250 RPM. But you feel that torque right from low revs and it pulls like a freight train uh, from next to nothing. So that's the great thing about these bikes. You've got lots of low down torque and it produces only 89 horsepower at 5,020 RPM. Uh, but it's not about the power. Uh, the soft tails, the way they're tuned, produce a little bit more power than the touring bikes. Um, but when you're touring, you just want torque, you want grunt, and you don't need to be revving it. And um, if you've never ridden a torquey bike like a Harley Davidson, you wouldn't understand what I'm talking about because uh, it's, it's equivalent to being given a piggyback ride by Dwayne Johnson. Uh, you've got so much muscle on this bike that everything it does is just effort. things we can establish on this ride is that the Harley Davidson Road King Special is also very good at the slow um, twisty stuff as in riding around country lanes like this where you're not going fast at all first and second gear work blind bends rows etc and the bike's perfectly comfortable riding like this um, of course it's brilliant on the motorway, the freeway, and uh, it's very much at home in those sort of conditions. But if you're touring, you're not always on the motorway, and when you when you get off the motorway, you want a bike that can explore the area that you find yourself in, and this is perfectly good for that. Now, another thing that we always say about Harley Davidsons, um, especially the soft tails, and it's the same on the touring models is the stands are very sort of not confidence inspiring. Um, they're perfectly fine once they're actually in place, um, but it's the worry of whether it actually is or not. And once they go, you aren't catching these things. They're very heavy. Um, so especially on a little slope, which I'm on now, you put it down and then it rolls forward about a couple of inches and you think, 
is that going to fall? Um, it might do, it might not. Uh, hopefully it doesn't because it will cost us a fair bit of money to uh, pay to Harley Davidson, but uh, I think it's all right. And I'm just going to check if the left fuel cap is a dummy or a real one. And uh, what is it? Oh, it's a gauge actually. I'm just taking it out. It's a, it's a fuel gauge. I didn't even know that. So uh, the left cap is a fuel gauge. It's so shiny you can't see it. And the right one is your filler cap. The miles per gallon figures for this is 39 miles per gallon, um, which is a little bit less than most of the soft tails. They're mostly uh, 43 miles per gallon. And this has a 22.7 litre fuel tank, um, which is a fair bit bigger than a lot of the other Harley models, the soft tails, etc. Now let's run through a few things quickly up front. You've got double disc brakes, Harley Davidson uh, logo on the calipers and the stopping power is good. You've got nice big mud guards which actually work so they keep the muck and the wetness off of you and the bike. You've got mini ape handlebars which are really nice. They look nice. You've got this massive headlamp and it does look good. It's very stylish. It's a nice fat front end, a wide tank. You've got the um, dials on here, a speedometer in analog which I always love and you've got the usual Harley Davidson uh, things you can flick through on the front of the left handlebar not usually uh, where the thumb is uh, and you've got your on off switch here and an accessory um, position as well uh, you've got a steering lock which you put your key in the mirrors I could see about half the road behind uh, maybe less so not brilliant um, the passenger seat sort of slopes away so I wouldn't want to go far on that to be honest uh, you really need to trust the person riding or hold on tight. Um, the saddlebags are brilliant, they've got tons of space, really good, love these saddlebags. Uh, as I said before, the suspension's not amazing, it's okay, it's a touring bike, it's not a motocross bike, but you do feel the bumps and the low profile tyres whilst good on the road and for uh, cornering what have you, not so good on the bumpy and slippery stuff. You've got an exhaust pipe either side and uh, they do look good and they do sound nice, even in standard form they've got a nice deep low rumble to them. Of course most people that buy Harleys will rip them off and put something louder on and with a nice end can or a whole system exhaust these things sound absolutely amazing like a lion roaring absolutely fantastic so um, personally if you're going to get a Harley Davidson you might as well hear it and uh, if you do hear it nothing sounds like it. The clutch has got quite a strong pull to it it's a cable clutch which gives a nice feel of course but um, you will develop forearms like Popeye. This bike comes with these crash bars down here and that's a really nice feature to have especially with a bike this heavy um, it's quite likely that you'll probably drop it at some point with your ownership um, not that you'd like to admit that but you never know, you get caught off guard, you think the stand's on or something, and then it falls. Um, and that means you're not going to ruin your lovely deadwood green paint job, which I'll say again is absolutely stunning. Um, you're just going to get a little bit of a scraped crash bar, which you can always um, touch up or you can get them replaced. Um, and that really gives you uh, peace of mind and it makes it easier to pick the bike up once it is down there. The seat height is 695 millimetres, uh, which isn't high, but don't let that fool you because obviously the riding position is good if you're tall and you can bring your feet into any position with the floorboards, which is nice. I do like that. So sometimes you just want to ride with your toes on the end there and you've got multiple positions. Some people even hang them over there and you can get an accessory to put your foot on properly. Um, but like I said, yes, it's got a low seat height but it's a big bike it's very long and it's very heavy so if you're a, a sort of shorter person um, who is thinking about the bike because of its seat height you do need to get on one move it around in the car park even just to feel how you are with maneuvering it because uh, it's not an easy bike in that respect Now, if 
you are looking at this motorcycle, you may have some other ones in mind, one of which might be the Indian Springfield. And if you were sort of weighing up the two, um, I personally think this is probably the best bet. I think the production quality on the Harleys is a little bit higher. I've noticed some sort of not so good finishes on the Indians. They do look beautiful, um, but I don't know if I trust um, as much as Harley Davidson in their production quality. Um, and we were actually at a Harley Davidson dealership in Nottingham, Robin Hood. Um, we stopped there after I did my Mod 1 bike test. And we met a subscriber there who was trading in his Indian for a street glide, um, which obviously says something. He's had reliability issues, um, so that must be uh, one of the reasons that he went for a Harley. Um, and I noticed that the front headlight on the Indian looked like it had just like a fairy light around the edge, which looked really cheap. It looked like it come out of a teenager's bedroom and they'd stuck it around the inside of the headlight. Um, so yeah, I do think Harleys are probably better quality, but I'm not dissing Indian. I do think they are beautiful motorcycles. Make sure you like and subscribe for all our future content, there's loads coming, uh, some from the old man here in Wales, some from me over in Rutland and lots of us together as well. And if you check out our big reveal video, um, you'll see some of our other ideas of what's to come in the future. And this week, uh, the old man's new bike is arriving. So uh, have a guess down below in the comments um, what you think the bike might be. It is an off-road bike, um, but uh, we'll leave it to you. No one's guessed it yet, uh, I'll just put it that way. <laughs> so, if you want a touring bike and you are a bit of a rebel, uh, if you're a bit badass and you don't want all the creature comforts, yet you want the um, luggage capacity, but the looks, then this could well be the bike for you. check out our t-shirt store there's loads of designs on there and if you actually click on the website and look through um, although they all look like they're just t-shirts if you click on them and um, there's normally other options you can get them in vests some of them are in sweatshirts long sleeves hoodies um, women's tees um, so make sure you have a look as there's all sorts on there and we are putting new designs on there as and when we uh, come up with them <laughs> Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed, or even if you didn't, um, as it helps, oh my God, I don't like bugs.